I always think at this time of year that I want to really up the amount of vegetables we're eating. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because more vitamins, more minerals, like, you don't get as much sunlight and it kind of gives you more energy. So you feel like the need for goodness? Yeah, need for energy and just kind of stay active. Right, so this really soup good. should just do the job. It's packed with carrots and parsnips, it's got kale in as well. Mm -hmm. All things that you really like. Sounds good. And what I've done is I've cut them into quite large chunks and we're going to roast them because roasting the vegetables will really intensify the flavour. So, a little bit of olive oil and then some maple syrup for a little bit of added sweetness. And we're using maple syrup rather than honey because the flavour works really well with the parsnips. And also, it's a vegan recipe, which means that your dad can eat it too. It's going to go to the oven now for about 20 minutes. Now, I've got a pan here. I'm just going to put it under the heat with a bit of olive oil. What you could do, Fabio, is grate or crush, whatever you prefer, the garlic for me. Some onion here that's been roughly chopped. And the full recipe is in the description below if you want to have a go at making this. Now, here, I've got some kale. You like kale, don't you? Yeah, I do. And I often grow it in the garden, but it doesn't come out as beautifully curly as this. I'm just going to pull the leaves off the stalks and we're going to make kale crisps with the leaves. You know, and they go really, really lovely and crispy and we'll sprinkle those on the top. But so as not to waste the stalks, I'm going to chop them now and add them in with the onions. We're going to cook them down really gently together until they go really nice and sweet and golden. Now, the other good thing about soup is it's great for making individual portions. Brilliant for sharing with people or just keeping it on standby if you just need a single portion at a time. Like if you just want to warm one up when no one else Obviously. is around. Yeah. yeah. Now then, Fabio, can you please chop the stalks for me? Now, let's pop that into the pan. If you lift up your knife, thank you. And could we have a little bit of salt and pepper? Now, what we're going to do is pop the lid on and cook this for about 12 minutes until it's softened and golden, by which time the pasta and carrots should be ready. Can you see, Fab, they've gone really nice and golden? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to add just a little bit of spice. We're going to add some ground cumin. Can you see it's just there? Yep. Can I have about two teaspoons, please? And cumin is a really classic combination with carrots, especially roasted ones. They're often put together because the flavours just work really well. Now, I'm just going to go and get those vegetables out of the oven. I'm going to turn the oven down ever so slightly now, ready for the kale. Oh, it smells nice. It's a maple syrup, I think. Now, if you could just help me, I'll hold on to the paper, or I'll try and hold on to the paper. There we go. Lovely. And make sure we get all of that flavoursome juice. Now, we're going to add to this some vegetable stock. Do you see that mm -hmm. pot there? And some water. Should I grab it? Yes, please. Tip it straight in. Um, we want all of the water, please. Of it. Yeah, in it goes. And um, the reason we're doing that is we don't want it to be too strong. We just want a very gentle, a light vegetable stock. So we're using a, a mixture of stock and additional water. Cool. We're going to bring that to the boil and give it a gentle simmer for about 10 minutes or so, just until everything's really nice and tender. Sounds good. Now, what we're going to do is serve it with some kale crisps. We're just going to break the kale a little bit more. And what happens is when you roast it, it goes really nice and crispy. Robert! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off you go, Fabio. Just break it into pieces. That's just about right. And what happens is it might look like there's too much for the tray, but it will really shrink as it cooks, so don't worry. A little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. And if you could do a sprinkle of salt. A little bit of lemon juice. I'm going to pop that back into the oven for about 12 minutes or so. We should stir it once or twice because it will start to crisping around the edges first, just to make sure it's a bit more even. Cool. And then by that time, the soup should be ready for us to blend. Sounds good. Right. How many times has Fabio said sounds good? Loads, honey. <laughs> so here's our kale. Looks very nice. Try a bit. It falls apart in your mouth. It's really sort of delicate, isn't it? What about the flavour? You can taste the salt and the lemon, it's really nice. It's just really, really mild, isn't it? But I think that it was going to add a lot of lovely texture to the soup because we're going to blend the soup now so that it's really smooth. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's pop that on. Now, I think we're going to have to do this in two batches. So let's whiz this up, cool. have a little taste of it and make sure we're happy with it, and then we can do the rest. That's good. Right, go gently, please. Just start turning. Okay. Ooh, Ooh. 
a little splash at the end. Okay, let's try this then. Now, I'll just pour this in and we're going to finish ours off. There we go, that's pretty. We're going to finish ours off with a little bit of yoghurt and we're using dairy-free yoghurt, but of course, you know, you can use Greek yoghurt, any kind of yoghurt you like, as long as it's plain. It is, in fact, your choice. Um, do you want to put a little spoonful on each one? Nice little swirl, please, Fabio. That's nice. I think that's quite nice. Little bit of pepper. Mm. And then do you want to finish that off with the kale well, crisps? With the kale crisps, yes. If you wanted to have this another day, the kale crisps probably won't last so well. You can probably keep them in an airtight container, but I think they'd start to soften. Especially putting them in the fridge, they'll just kind of... Yeah, maybe. So if you're going to eat it straight away, fantastic. If you wanted to eat it another day, do have a go. If you want to eat it another day, mm -hmm. there are other things that you could do because really what you're after is a bit of a change of texture. So I was thinking maybe some fried onions on top mm -hmm. or some mixed seeds or even just some absolute classic croutons. croutons. Do you, would you go for croutons? Go for croutons. So I might save you a bit of this and then you can take it to college in a flask with a little separate tub of croutons. Good, have a lunch. Yeah, on a cold day you want a warm lunch, don't you? Yeah, why not? All right, come on then, what's the verdict? Is it delicious? Yeah, really if you wanted to, you can add a little bit of lemon juice right at the end because that sort of fresh kick of lemon really gives it a little bit of, I was going to say zing, but you always laugh at me when I say that. Do I? Yeah, a little bit of zing, a little bit of brightness from the lemon. I'll squeeze a bit over. Good. You can really like taste the parsnip, it's not overpowering. You yeah. Know what I mean? yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's because it's roasted with the maple syrup, it really softens mm, the flavours. Kind of sweet. Anyway, I'm glad you enjoy it. Take this to Dad. Will do. And enjoy it. Thank you very much, Mom. You're very welcome.